And this seems to be a repeat of where I was before. Okay. All right, <laughs> fine, whatever. Well, hello, and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Chrono Trigger. It's a chill session today. Get myself a chill sesh going on. So I'm just hanging out playing Chrono Trigger, right? I'm sitting here, having a good time. Whoa, okay. This is interesting. I got an ether. There's four treasure chests in here. I got a mid tonic. Hey, what's a mid tonic? I got two mid tonics. Two mid tonics. I got two mid tonics. Obviously, it does. It, it's the same as tonic, but does more. But how much more? Two hundred. Oh my god. So what's a max tonic or like a big tonic or something? You know what I was thinking about? Is we say the phrase like "I'm back and badder than ever," right? That's the thing people say. But the opposite of bad is good, okay. Whoa, oh my god, no. Oh no. So, you're the escaped god. Uh, no. Omnicrone, awesome. What, do, do I have stats on these attacks, by the way? That it could show me like what the, um, like how much damage they do? Because I want to know which one's better. Like Cyclone obviously does more than one, but so that did 64, right? And this does zero. All right, that did zero. Let's just attack him. See what happens. He missed me. That's good. Now you gotta kiss me. 51. All right. So Cyclone does more than just attacking. Anyway, yeah, you say um, you say back and badder than ever, but the opposite of bad is good. But the word gooder is not a word. You can't use that word. It's not a real word. Ow. That hit me. That one hit me. Couldn't, can't say that one didn't hit me, because it hit me. Uh, so that's my question. That's that's what I'm curious about. Because you can't say back and gooder than ever. You'd have to say back and more. Oh, I beat him. I, I guess. He's still there. Oh, because there's a cutscene. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> All right, see ya. Hope he doesn't report back to his, his you know, friends. I should... Should I... I should heal myself. I should use a ton... Not a mid-tonic. Just a tonic. Because I have a ton of those. I have 42. 42? It's 40... It's 40 bloody too, isn't it? I know I can only save in the overworld, but... No, I can't do it now. Damn it. I was going to say, I wonder if this counts as an overworld. Because I'm technically over the world. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> that was awful. Now can I get through here, please? Now can I get through here, please? If I... <laughs> Damn it! Nope. Alright, I'll just close it. So wait, what am I supposed to do then? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to experience? How am I supposed to be? Can I drink again? Oh, nice! Okay, well that was a waste of a tonic. Alright, time to save again, now that I have all my magic and HP back. I really wish that the game would tell you that, hey, you don't have to do that because you can do something unlimited here without experiencing any enemies if you just go back a couple rooms. So don't waste your time. Oh! Oh! Okay. I, f I saw these stairs. I thought they were just decorations. I thought like this was blocked off and like these were walls. They're not. All right, let's go left first. And I bet I can't open this either. Bet I can't. I was wrong. Hello. Oh no. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa. What's this now? What nonsense. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's a skelly. It's a skellington. It's a descendant or a decan decadent. I don't know. Let's just attack it. It's probably not got too high defense, right? Or HP. It's a skeleton with a spear. And it's not very fast either, because I was able to attack it twice before it attacked me. And I got him. All right. I like skeletons in video games, because they're usually the least <laughs> threatening of um, enemies. I wonder what's a video game. Is there one? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Leave a comment down below if there is a... Damn it! Why does every other one not work? That's so weird. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's an enemy in a video game that's a skeleton that's actually a problem. Like, maybe there's only one of them, and it's, like, a big deal.
I have this recurring theory, by the way. I'm on another bridge above the bridge that I was on, so if I jump down, would I jump on that other bridge? That's not my theory. This prisoner is escaping! Oh no! I have to fight on the bridge! This is really scary, but really cool. Awesome, this game is very creative. I think I like it. I was a little, it's not that I didn't like it at first. It's not that I was hesitant or anything, but I d definitely didn't get it at first. I was def That first episode, I was very confused <laughs> about what was going on. I was like, what's all this? What's happening? I'm scared. Uh, but th this time, I'm much more intelligent <laughs> and I'm able to actually, whoa, I'm flying around. That's not possible. Got them both though. Um, so I like it a lot, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm also saying is that I have a theory that the more of an enemy you have, the more of a problem the, I mean, wait, the more of an enemy you have, the less of a problem each one is. For example, zombies. If you have like a zombie movie where there's one zombie, it's probably going to make it to the end of the movie. It's gonna be very hard to kill because otherwise the threat's just over, right? Oh, oops. I don't think he sees me yet. I think I can get away if I turn. Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, I was right. It was exactly right. I was making a joke, but that was correct. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought he was going to look up. And he looked, he reversed his trajectory. But anyway, with the thousand zombies, then, like, zombies are getting killed left and right. And there's, there's like, no problem. Oh, okay, good. Speaking of no problem. So, like, if there was only, if you had a, if you had a video game where there was, like, only one bad guy... Like, that would be, like, the point of the game was how do I defeat this one bad guy? Which would be interesting to watch, but that's not, um, no game is like that. Again, as far as I know, let me know if there is. I'd love to know it. I'd love to play it. But, you know, games like this where there's a skeleton, there's a hundred more later. Although that seemed to be the only skeleton so far. What I'm saying is, bad example because there's other enemies. That was just one. It wasn't, like, the main enemy or something. Unless he was, and I just defeated him really easily. There's like a one in a thousand chance of that happening. I feel like I should be going downstairs, by the way, and I seem to be going just endlessly upstairs. And this seems to be a repeat of where I was before. Okay. All right, <laughs> fine, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna keep going on. I guess I can skip past those Blue shields. Oh, hey. This room seems empty. Oh, oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, wait. Oh, look. Okay, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to jump for it. Oh, I'm climbing. Uh. Eh. Eh. All right. Oh, I'm back in. Let's go out. Okay. This is very weird. I can only seem to go... Oh, 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 I have to climb down. All right, I see. Okay, all right, yeah. Okay, you have to climb down. You couldn't climb up. I was expecting to climb up because usually you climb up. And you can't really go left or right once you've started climbing. So, like, you have to, you can only go down. <laughs> you can't go left or right and you can't climb up. So you're basically trapped and doomed. Uh, okay, so I'm in another one of those rooms that was locked before. Like, I couldn't get through. I closed each one behind me, which was probably a mistake in hindsight. Am I going to jump? Am I going to jump down this hole? Oh, I think there's a ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder. Okay, that's fine. Hey, and I'm in this room now. Awesome. I found... Whoa! 1,500 gold! And a load sword. Hell yeah, dude. I got a load sword. Nice. Hey, maybe this will tell me what the attack is. Uh, yeah, attack three. Okay. Bronze edge can be used by frog attack six. Does that mean I'm going to meet frog again? Was he only in the past? Let's see. Defense five. I want the... Oh, I have to, I have to organize. That's what I got to do. Let's. Oops. Let's organize. And then let's... The load sword. 20! I'm assuming that's a lot more than what I have now. I don't know what my attack is. Let's see. That says 25, but I think that's a combination of stuff. I have power 13, speed hit, ev, which I'm assuming is evasion. Madge, which I'm assuming is, def I mean, magic. Stamina and M defense, magic defense. I don't know. 
Oh well, let's uh, let's give you the load sword. Twenty-eight. Awesome. That's great news. I love to see it. But now I'm trapped in here, and I don't. I don't see how this is better. Like, what have I learned? Oh. Like how? Now what? I can't keep going down. I mean, I can't go down anymore. The only thing I do, I don't even think I can go back up. Because like, I, I, I can't, again, I can't go left or right. I can't climb this thing. Oops, didn't want to do that. There's nothing I can do. Although I like that my, I, because I bought up the pause menu, it, it like stopped the climbing animation and now I'm just standing here on the, on the wall. All right, so I've locked myself out of going up. I have to be able to go through, which means there's gotta be something I can do that I'm not noticing. What's this? Is this just rocks? How come no one's noticed this? Is it because nobody ever comes up here? Is this like an empty part of the dungeon? It does seem to be that the dungeon seemed to be abandoned, although that might be a bad thing for that skeleton that died. Was he supposed to be a prisoner who was just ignored and left here forever? Cause that's really, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. That's really dark if that's the case. It really, ah, damn it, gotta go back down. It really does seem like this place is not very well populated or maintained, I should say. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not a thousand percent sure I know what to do next or where to go. I literally only have two, I have three screens available to me. Here's one, here's the other. Both of these, I seem to be completely locked in a cell and I cannot interact with the door in any way. As far as I know, there's no like hidden anything. And then there's out here, which if I go to the right, I immediately go through the door. If I go to the left, nothing happens. I can go up, but that's it. I can't go left or right. I can't go down. So, I feel like, I feel like my journey has come to an end. I don't want to look up any uh, walkthroughs, but I think I might have to, especially because this episode is coming out way in the future and I'm recording next long before this comes out. So I have to, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look up what to do in the next episode or for the next episode rather. Guys, thanks for watching. You know what? Do you know what? I appreciate it and your country appreciates it. So see you in in two days for more exciting Chrono Trigger adventures. We're gonna break out of here. I know I said that in the last episode, but that was before we uh, encountered this situation. Thanks for watching though. I know I've said that already, but thanks doubly. Remember those weird fireworks in the last episode? That was funny, right? All right, well, see ya. I will, this, this, is, this is Chrono signing off. Bye everyone. By the way, I should have a face cam in the next episode if I play my cards right, if I remember to grab my camera. In the next episode, I'll have a face cam again. Sorry about that, everyone.